We're driving behind a German ambulance right now, and to make matters worse, straight into an extremely messy construction zone full of cyclists. Can Tesla's AI keep up with this challenge? Let's find out. You're watching official Tesla footage, slowed down and analyzed by me. This full self-driving supervised test starts in a calm, comfortable tempo. But don't worry, the chaos is coming. This is Berlin, after all, the capital of Germany, red tape and bureaucracy. Tesla elegantly overtakes a motorcyclist at a textbook 50 km per hour, the standard speed limit in most European cities, and then accelerates just a bit past that. Let me know what you think about self-driving cars doing this. Should they be able to do it, or should they religiously follow speed limits? I think it's okay, as long as it stays safe and cautious, just like it's doing here. There's some overtaking going on in front of us, but FSD stays smooth and calm and lets everyone around do their thing, instead of insisting on going faster. Notice the butter smooth stop, which instantly lets you know this is no LiDAR reliant throwback from the last century, but a truly intelligent robot driver. The highlight of this ride is undoubtedly the amazing capability of predictive planning, where FSD utilizes a combination of map data, machine learning and real-time vision to pick the right lanes at the right time, way before an adjustment is even necessary. For example, notice that here at the next intersection, both continuous lanes are left turn only, and you have to be in the rightmost lane just to continue forward. The Tesla just knew it and proceeded using the smoothest trajectory possible. One thing I really like about full self-driving is that it actually keeps a safe and comfortable following distance, dynamically adjusting for all relevant conditions, speed, weather and even unpredictable or unsafe behavior of other traffic participants. And here comes the dangerous human driver, proudly blowing through a red light in his German car. I think this is a clear signal that we need to investigate if humans are ready for unsupervised driving or if they need to be equipped with some additional sensors first. Luckily, Tesla FSD is much safer than the average human and appropriately waits for the green light at this nightmare of an intersection. But I'll concede this one to the haters. There's a tiny bit of hesitance and phantom braking here when the green light finally hits before we return to the smoothness we've come to expect from Tesla. Some easy riding, correctly being defensive by staying mostly on the left in anticipation of anyone jumping from behind the cars parked on the right side of this classic tight European street. This is something that bothers me a lot about Prague cars just being parked everywhere. And you know what? Once the cars drive themselves, we will see a lot less of this unproductive use of space. Just think about it, we have these beautiful cities over here and we make them ugly by putting our parked cars inside of them just because we want to use them 5% of the time. Absolutely beautiful merging right into the leftmost lane in anticipation of the next left turn. And we're stopped, sitting in traffic once again. Another silly but extremely frequent argument against self-driving cars is that for many people, driving is fun. But I have yet to meet a person who enjoys just sitting in stop-and-go traffic inside a chaotic city center and focusing on not driving over any rogue pedestrians or cyclists. There's a gentleman who wants to initiate contact with the Tesla supervisor here, but they don't pay any attention to him, and neither does the car. To provide some constructive criticism again, it's probably too soon here for the turn signal to be engaged all this time, when we're actually going straight through this intersection and turning left later at the next one. But what do you think? Does FSD signal too soon? Having a red light immediately after a green here is pretty confusing and dangerous road design, but FSD handles it correctly and waits inside the median, patiently waiting until the traffic clears and green is on. One of you guys posted a really interesting comment about FSD handling traffic lights in Europe, because unlike the US, our traffic lights are always placed at the start of the intersection. And sure enough, we can see a brand new message on the screen here that we've never seen anywhere in the US, as far as I know. 
It says, traffic light may be out of view. Please pay attention. And even though it was probably just a mistake over here with no traffic lights around, I'm curious how this issue is going to be solved in the future with unsupervised FSD. And by the way, thank you so much for the donation, my man. I really appreciate everyone who chips in using the thanks button under the video, or even better, becomes a channel member. With a membership, you get an evolving robot badge next to your name in the comments and exclusive emojis. And most importantly, you help keep this passion project of mine alive. Speaking of keeping something alive, we're driving behind a German ambulance right now and to make matters worse, straight into an extremely messy construction zone full of cyclists. Can Tesla's AI keep up with this challenge? Let's find out. Look at how the car absolutely ignores the messy lines on the ground and just drives naturally, according to the construction barriers, just like a skilled human driver would. This is something no other car manufacturer can do, and showcases real intelligence, not just blindly staying inside two clear lines. Even the cyclists don't trip the car up and it stays as smooth as ever. An FSD staple at this point. Following the ambulance further lets us take advantage of an empty lane, overtaking all of these guys stuck in traffic on the right. And then we fly through some more pretty challenging intersections with ease, even though some construction elements still complicate things around here. When you look at what the car has to work with, there really is very little space in European city centers compared to most of the US. Add to that the number of people actually using their legs to walk and the rising popularity of commuting on a bicycle and you have a really challenging next level environment for the AI to try to drive in. And as you can see, even today it's actually doing really well and its abilities are only getting better from here. I just hope we can finally get FSD approved in Europe because honestly, it's been long overdue and I'd love to just go out and show you how it works here in Prague. Once again, look at how the cameras are correctly reconstructing this whole complicated 3D space on the screen while making perfect sense of it. I still frequently hear people say that it's impossible to judge distance from a 2D image, so here's clear evidence proving the opposite. Please like the video to spread the word about how great this software is. I even heard some rumors about a new hype feature that's available on YouTube after you press the like button. Let me know if you see it on my videos or not. Now, in true Berlin style chaos, click here to watch how FSD handles Rome, the capital of Italy, and an even bigger challenge than Berlin posed in this one.